Hey everyone, I'm Sam from Just Gaming for Fun, and today is March 3rd, 2020. And if you don't know what day that is, today is the Nintendo Switch's third birthday. Yeah, this bad boy right here. It's its third birthday. I've had it for three years. And yeah, I've had mine since launch. I pre-ordered mine the moment I could. I have it here. I love it. And it's one of my favorite consoles of all time. It's very versatile. I love that it's a handheld and a home console all at the same time. It's perfect. Now, there's one thing I really want to do for today because it's the Switch's birthday. And I just want to share my top 10 favorite games for the Switch. Now, these are the ones I've had the most fun playing. Now, keep in mind, there are some games like Astral Chain, which I do have, but I have not played yet, so I cannot put it on my favorite games. It very well may be on my favorite games, because I've heard so much good things about it, but I haven't played it, so it can't be on my list. So, again, lists are always, lists always tend to change, but for right now, on this date, this is my top 10. So we're gonna go with number 10 first. My number 10 is Fire Emblem Warriors. This game, um, if you're familiar with Dynasty Warriors, this is what this is, it's a spinoff. It's kind of like Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U, but this is for the Switch. It's with Fire Emblem characters. Honestly, I enjoyed it very much. Um, there were a lot of people that gave it the criticism that it's very repetitive, but that could be said for any Dynasty Warrior game. So. I don't really take that with any kind of merit. I mean, yeah, it's repetitive, yes, but it's repetitive, fun gameplay, so that's all that really matters for me. Overall, I think Fire Emblem Warriors is a fun game. It's not a perfect game by any means. I actually prefer Hyrule Warriors over this one, but it is still a fun game. And at number nine, we have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, I know a lot of you are just like, why is this number nine barely top ten? Well. Don't get me wrong, I do love the game. It's just that I think my Smash years was more um, with Melee. I played Melee constantly, constantly, constantly. And I don't even mean competitively. I just played against the computer. I just love playing it. And now while I did play Brawl and Smash 4 and this one, and I love all of them, it's just to the point where I'm just like, yeah, I know what to expect and I'm not really, I don't play it that much. Now it's not that the game is bad. The game's awesome. It's got, a, it's got an amazing roster. It's got so many characters that I just love. And there's even more characters coming to it. It's a game that's well worth your money. And it's well worth playing. But uh, it's just for me, it's just not going to be that high on my list. Because there's just not a lot of whole single player content. Other than just playing the AI over and over and over again. Now people would say play online. But I don't really care about playing online against people. So... <clears throat> So yeah, so it's number 9 for me. Number 8 is Sonic Mania Plus. Now when Sonic Mania first released, it was only digital. And I thought that sucked, but I bought um, the, the one with the statue. It had Sonic the Hedgehog on top of a Sega Genesis, but it was a digital game. But I was like, I gotta have that statue, so I bought that. But then they released Sonic Mania Plus, and this was the physical cartridge of it. So I was like, okay. I'll get it. I'll buy it again. Even though I already had it, but it was digital, so I wanted to have a physical copy of it. So that's why I have Sonic Mania Plus here. And I grew up in the 90s uh, in the Sonic Mania, and I love 2D Sonic. Now, I'm, I've never been a fan of when Sonic went to 3D. I, there's not a single 3D Sonic game that I like. None. And yeah, I don't like Sonic Adventures. I think Sonic Adventures is a boring, dull game. I love 2D Sonic. Sonic works in 2D, and this is what I love. And this is why this is the best Sonic game since the 90s. It's that awesome. You need to play it. And at number seven, we have Mario Plus Rabbit Kingdom Battles. This was a game when they first announced it. It caught my interest immediately. Now, personally, I, I never played the Rabbit games, or I don't even like Raymond, but but I remember those commercials of those raving rabbits, and I loved them in those commercials. And when I saw them here with Mario. I was like, that's interesting. But then I saw it had XCOM gameplay, so it was just a done deal for me right there. I had to buy it. I was like, Mario plus XCOM? 
I'm sold. And it's not like a baby strategy game. I mean, if you don't plan your moves ahead and make sure you're doing the right things at the right time, you will get destroyed by the AI. They're merciless. And that's, what the, that's a good thing. So, it's a fun game. It's a cute game. A lot of kids can play it, but it is, there is strategy required. So, you better make peace with that. Number six, we have Pokemon Sword. Now, of course, you can have Pokemon Shield, but I bought Pokemon Sword. And it's been a long time since I've played and beaten a Pokemon game. The last time I did it was in the Gen 1 games. That, that was my era. I didn't really care about the other eras. Now, Silver and Gold were good, but I never finished them. This was the first one I finished since the Gen 1 games. And you know what? It's not perfect, and I don't like it more than the Gen 1 games. But... It was interesting enough for me to keep playing, and I did enjoy it. And I am excited for the DLC. I probably will buy it and play those two DLCs. And overall, if you never played Pokemon, or, or if you haven't played in a long time, this is a good place to pick back up, because I thought it was a pretty fun game. Now, I do like Let's Go Pikachu, but I hate that you can't battle a wild Pokemon. I, mean, I thought that kind of sucked. But other than that, that game if that game had wild battle encounters, it probably would have been higher than this one. But since it didn't have that, Pokemon Sword is right here. And at number five, we have Luigi's Mansion 3. I love this series. Now, my favorite one is still Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. But this is a fun game. It has a lot of charm. In the hotel, each floor is different. It has a unique theme. And some of them are just amazing and other ones I, I really hate. But I love Floor 8. If you know, if you played the game, then you know what Floor 8 is. And I'm, it's awesome. <laughs> I just really love that that level. I love the new mechanics with Gooigi. Uh, it's just, it's a very fun game. I mean, if you haven't played the Luigi's Mansion 3, you need to. It's, it's, it's amazing. Now, at number four, we have Dragon Quest XI. Echoes of an Elusive Age S Definitive Edition. I hate that name. I just call it Dragon Quest XI. Uh, Dragon Quest XI is just like... I love this game and I've never played a Dragon Quest before. This is my first one and I've absolutely fallen in love with it because I love how it it plays. I love how I love I love that it allows you to play the game the way you want to. Dragon Quest 11 gives you so many options of how to play the game. It lets you choose how you want to play it. And I think that's just awesome. You can play it in 2D or 3D. You can have classic combat or the newer combat. You can play in English or Japanese. It's great that it lets you decide how you want to play. You can have your, your AI fight by themselves, or you can control them. It's, it's, I just love that it gives you all those options. And I've been stuck on this for the last few weeks. I just can't stop playing it. It's freaking awesome. I love it. If you've never played a Dragon Quest, this is a good one to start with. And number three, we have Super Mario Odyssey, the definitive 3D Mario game. For the Switch. Now, it's not my favorite 3D Mario game, but I really do love this game. Odyssey was like a breath of fresh air. I love the worlds you you visit. Uh, the actual story was probably the most cinematic story I've ever seen Mario in. Um, controls were tight. It's just you know, it was a Mario game, and it's the Mario game that the Switch needed. And while I do love 3D World on the Wii U, and I do want that ported to the Switch, I understand why why some people didn't consider that a real 3D Mario. So this was a perfect game to bring fans back to a real 3D Mario. I love the theme song for this game. It's, cl it's classic, I love it. Obviously, if you're gonna buy a Switch, you're gonna need Super Mario Odyssey. That's, that's a given. At number two, we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. A Wii U port, but damn, is it a damn good one. Mario Kart 8 is fantastic. This, to me, this is the best game in the series. Mario Kart 8 is so polished and it's got so many characters to play as. Awesome tracks, great mechanics. This is a fun game. I could play it all the time, every day. That's how good it is. I played it a lot on the Wii U. I played it a lot on the Switch. A fantastic game. And if you're buying a Switch for your, your, your child, this is the perfect game for them to play. It's awesome. My little girl plays all the time. She loves it. And she actually got really good at it. She actually wins races now. And it's always great to see her enjoying the Mario Kart game. It's awesome. And finally, last but certainly not least, number one, you know what it is. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody says this is number one. That's because it's so damn good. I've had this game 
since day one. It was a launch title and damn what a perfect launch title to sell a new console. This is a system seller. This still is that damn good. I'm telling you this, three years later, this is still the best game on the console. It's fantastic. The world is beautiful. The world's open. There's so much freedom to the game. I'm not the biggest Zelda fan. I, I respect Zelda. I like the games, but I've never played a, through all of them because after a while I get kind of bored because it's like you can't go here until you do this and you can't do this until you get this and yet and I, I just hate that. My favorite Zelda game before this one was The Legend of Zelda on the NES. Why? Because you could do whatever you want when you want. And that's the way Breath of the Wild is. There's nothing holding you back. You go where you want to, you do what you want, when you want, and how you want. That's what's fantastic about Breath of the Wild. And it still holds up. And I think the only game on the Switch that can surpass it will be Breath of the Wild 2 when that comes out. So I'm excited for that one. And yeah, if you buy a Switch, you have to get this game. I don't care if you think, well, I don't really like Zelda. You need to get this one. This is completely different from any other Zelda that you have played. So don't let those games cloud your judgment. You need Breath of the Wild. So that is my top 10 favorite games as of right now in 2020. Now, of course, as time goes on and I play more games, that might change. But for now, that's what I have. That's what I've played. That's what I've enjoyed. I have more games back there, as you can see. If you want to see me do um, a collection video where I show you all the Switch games that I own, because obviously you can't read those back there, um, let me know. I'll make a video, but I'll show you all the Switch games I own. Um, and you can help me decide what other games to add to my collection, because I do need more games for my collection. You know, even though my backlog is getting pretty backed up and I haven't, I haven't been able to play all of them and Dragon Quest is taking a lot of my time, but yeah, I need to add more games because... I'm a compulsive addict. And what can I say? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know in the comments what you thought of my top 10. Let me know your top 10. What are your favorite games on the Switch that you have played? I'm very curious to know. I love Switch. I love Switch fans. I love Nintendo. I love the Switch. Happy birthday, Nintendo Switch. And hopefully, we have a lot more great years with you and a lot more great games to play. So until next time, Stay safe out there. Please stay safe out there. And as always, you keep on gaming, gamers.